Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. So as from the title, I am going to be showing you what we've got Violet for Christmas. She is seven. She was seven back in October. Um, so if you've watched my previous haul with Alistair's yesterday, you'll know that Alistair got a big present. He got a bike. So we didn't actually go down the route of a big bike present for Violet purely because one of my best friends, her little girl, always hounds down her bikes for Violet. So we don't actually ever have to buy a bike for her which is really lovely just you know it's one thing that we don't really have to think about which is amazing so um yeah she basically has a little bit more as in she have more to unwrap but roughly we've spent about the same maybe a little more on Alistair because his bike was generally a little bit more. He generally has more to unwrap, so you may see that she has more stuff here. But as always, I try and find bargains. I bought most of this stuff absolutely ages ago. I just pick little bits up here and there. She's given me a list of things that she wanted, um, or Father Christmas, shall I say. So yeah, so I'll start off with the biggest present. It's not the most expensive though, but it, the biggest present that she has got, which I bought absolutely ages ago and I was considering giving this to her birthday um, to have her birthday but I just decided not to um, so this is a bigger older style scooter at the moment she has got a three-wheeler she's got a micro scooter which she absolutely adores but I can see her already well, she's had that for probably about two years. She's desperate to go up to like a, a one a, a one front wheel and obviously one back wheel scooter. Uh, this is like a girly version. I found this on eBay for £20. Obviously, it's brand new. Um, yeah, so that is basically her main, I'd say, biggest gift that she can obviously ride outside. She loves her scooter. She rides on her scooter every day to school. And then moving on to her most expensive present. Uh, so this is one thing that she really kind of wanted. Um, she was looking at similar things and then I spotted this. So this is basically the Baby Annabelle Baby Walker. I have never seen this before, but when I was in Smith's Toys back in the summer, I just spotted it. And it's not even in the catalogue. Uh, like I said, I've never seen it before, but it's limited edition. It says it's a 20 year happy anniversary. Um, it's got a remote control. So I think from what I'm re I read up on about it, you can actually move it while the baby sat in it. Obviously, if you've been following me for a long time, Violet is obsessed with her baby. She's still like really into dolls. So I knew this would be something that she really likes. Originally, she was looking at a trike. I think it was a baby born trike. Um, but when I saw this, I just thought it was perfect. This was $39.99. But um, as I said in my previous video, um, Alistair's Hall, I actually shopped in Smith's and if I had a voucher, if you spend £100, get £20 off. So technically, you could say I got this for £20. Um, but yeah, I think she's going to love this. She's got the newer style Baby Born as well to sit on it already. Okay, so another thing that Violet really, really wanted. So last year, I think, was the year of the Hatchimal. This year, they've brought out a newer version, the Hatchimal Mystery. I actually didn't go down the route of the newer version. Um, Violet really doesn't know any different. So I basically got her a standard Hatchimal. I actually ended up opening it, by the way. Um, I actually got this quite cheap for £20 from eBay. It's brand new. Um, but yeah, I opened it and then I realised that something's shifted. So it, you can kind of see the cardboard at the front there. Um, but yeah, she has been desperate for a big Hatchimal. I don't know what the fuss is all about, to be honest, but I was happy to pay £20 for one. This is just a standard one of those. So yeah, that's another item, again, that she really wanted that I didn't mind paying £20 for. Another thing that we I have put in her Christmas stuff is this big pack of slime. So again, you may have noticed and seen this in a recent Ryman stationery haul. I thought I'd keep this aside for her. It's a maxi tube um, slime shakers, eight pack. Oh, I know she's gonna go absolutely nuts for this. You can do lots of different confetti, me metallic, rainbow slime, glitter slime, neon slime. Um, I just thought that would be so much fun. And also, it kind of looks mess free because you shake everything in the tubs. You just shake them up. You just add a little bit of solution and then shake them. So I'm hoping it's not going to be too messy, but you never know. It is slime. She's also asked for these bunchums. 
Um, again, I think these were around like a year or two ago, but um, yeah, I we don't really follow trends that well. And we kind of, I always get things a bit later on because, you know, things are always cheaper anyway. So yeah, I put, I think I picked this up from eBay ages ago for uh, 9 99 This is the mega pack, it's 400 pieces. And these things just bump, bunch together. It's a good fun activity, it's mess free and it's for ages four years and over. So I actually found these on Amazon in like reduced. Um, so the first one is the Cottontail Cottage pop-up playhouse and then you get these colour in, um, you basically get some pens and you can colour in the little bunnies. Um, I just thought it was really cute. So this was actually half price. I got this for 9 99 instead of £20 from Amazon. Again, I got it a few weeks ago. You can colour your bunnies and decorate their home. It's basically like a little pop-up house. I just thought it was super girly and sweet and I know she'd love that. And then with that, I also got the um, Cozy Cats. This one was down to £6.67 or something from, I think, £10. So, uh, yeah, it's just three little cats that you make their little beds. It's just a really cute, creative activity. Again, it's really mess-free. But they also have a dog version, um, again, a bunny version. And there's a few extra ones that you can choose from if you look. They're called Fuzzykins. So I got her those. And the last few items, these are kind of littler items. So one is a baby Annabelle outfit. I got this from Smith's. Um, this is the one I chose. God, these outfits uh, can be so expensive. This one was $7.99, I believe. Um, so yeah, I got her that. I also got her a, a DIY, a bomb, so bomb DIY, uh, create your own bath bomb. Again, from Smith's. This was $5.99. You can actually buy a really big set of them as well, but I just thought one small one would be fun. Um, but yeah, you just... There's a little thing over here you can kind of create your own. I thought that would be really fun. So I also got her some little Hatchimal friends. She's had a few of these before. Again, I got these from Amazon. I think these were about just £7 something. Um, yeah, they're just the uh, mini Hatchimals blind things that you kind of pop open and find the little surprise. So last few items I got her from Matalan. This really cute zip up kind of cosmetic case. Um, you could use it for practically anything, but I just thought it was super cute. It's like this little unicorn. Um, and yeah, this was six pounds from Matalan. I think they're actually on sale now at the moment. Um, I also got her a little, um, body mist and lip balm set. This was also from Next in the sale back in the summer. It's for ages six years plus. Um, yeah, it's just a little girl's body spritz. On to the last few items which are books. I got this from Home Sense. It's Little Grey Rabbit's Year of Stories. So it's basically like Peter Rabbit. Really beautiful uh, pictures and like loads of little stories in there. This was only £2.99 which I thought was an absolute bargain and originally it's £12.99. Home Sense honestly do the best books. I also got her Katinka's Tale by Judith Kerr. The really sweet book, obviously very similar to the mob style books. It's just a book that we don't have and I just thought it was a really sweet story. I got her a unicorn colouring book. I think this was from Amazon as well. But yeah, just really nice sort of colouring. I also got her some more Crayola um, super tips, 24 markers. And last two items, I got these from Tesco absolutely ages ago. I got her a notepad, like a, a lined big A4 pad with a unicorn on. This was in the reduced section in Tesco. And then it also um, there was some matching pen and whatever, which I thought would be sweet to go with it. I think that was about a pound. And that is pretty much everything. I got Violet for Christmas. Um, like I said previously, I'll try and leave everything linked in the description bar. Again, I'll leave previous years below if you fancy um, checking that out, if you need ideas for younger children. Um, I really hope this is giving you some inspiration. 
And also don't forget to check out Alistair's if you haven't seen that already. I've already done his haul, I've got a nine year old son if you are new. Um, might give you some ideas if you're still trying to figure out what to get your son at that age, it is difficult. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video and I will see you all soon.